Well, I've known Erin for, oh my gosh, Erin DiCarlo, she's the founder. Um, over 20 years, she's my sister-in-law. She asked me to come on board and I said I would do whatever I could to bring awareness to this and here I am. I'm so lucky to be able to do this and, and help in any way. When Thomas was born, um, when I heard that he had cerebral palsy, I was just like, I didn't really know anything about cerebral palsy and how to deal with it and, and knowing Aaron, she wanted to make sure that he was treated like every other child and he was able to enjoy things like every other child and do the things that other kids do. To watch her work with these kids and the staff and bring over people from, from Hungary to develop this program here, who does that? She does. To see the jump from where he was as a baby to where he is now, I can't believe the changes that I've seen in him through what she's done with Rising Star and, um, and, and how other kids have benefited from this. Good job. People should care about what's going on at Rising Star because it's just educating yourself about these, these children and, and young adults that have cerebral palsy or a, a mobility issue. We all have our disabilities, I think, but sometimes we don't want to always expose them. And that's what I think is so brave about these kids and you know, young adults is just, they're out there, that's what they're, what you see is what you get, but there's so much more that they have inside. They are able to think and to feel and, and to grow and to mature just like everybody else. Conductive education is what they do here and seeing you know, the program and how the kids are able to learn and to grow and to do things that people say that they wouldn't be able to do. To make sure that your child has the best quality of life and that's what they're doing here at Rising Star.